what's going on guys more medic one and today we have a no start on a toro commercial it's a 22 295 and the issue is of course it's been setting up all winter and uh it's got the commercial honda on it and i've pulled it i don't know 10 or 12 times on choke full choke and uh she won't sing to me so let me show you how I go about this. Um, I can test, well, you can quickly uh, do a quick and dirty test of compression, ignition, and uh, basically, uh, I don't wanna say fuel system because probably that's why it's not running, is the fuel system. But what you need to do is pop this air filter off take the air filter out and we're going to introduce a fuel source into the throat of the carburetor a lot of times if you get an engine that won't start sometimes all you need all it needs is just a little bit of help now i'm going to go ahead and give this thing a crank and if it runs and dies, after I squirt the uh, the fuel source, I used brake clean. You can use carburetor cleaner. I like to stay away from uh, starting fluid because it's just so dry and you could risk damaging, you know, the piston or the cylinder wall could get scuffed if you use it too much. Uh, carburetor cleaner is a little bit oily, so it's I like to use that or even just some straight gas. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a crank and see what happens. some carburetor issues maybe just old fuel in the bowl she said she put fresh gas in the tank because it was empty you can tell even looking at the fuel filter the fuel looks pretty good uh, I smelled the fuel the fuel does not smell old so what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the drain on this carburetor let's go ahead and turn the fuel to the off position here Go ahead and stick you some rags under there just to catch the fuel. I'm gonna crack that nut loose. And let the carburetor bleed out. Oh yeah, you can just tell by looking at it that it's, yeah, that's some bad stuff. Now, what we're gonna do is open this fuel cock and let some fresh gas in, if it will. You know, I already tell that that is not yellow and nasty. It is a little bit, until it gets all that old gas out of that fuel line. Turn the gas back off. As you can tell, you know, just looking at the screw here, it doesn't have any, you know, nastiness on it. So uh, it's probably just old incombustible gasoline that's in this carburetor. The carburetor is probably not plugged up, but it just has fuel in it that's old enough to where it doesn't want to burn. All right, let's see what we got. Give it a good choke.
like it when they're like that. Well, they were all that easy to fix, guys. I tell you what, today's my lucky day. I've basically the same thing on the big uh, snapper mower I was working on, just old fuel. And uh, but anyway, hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and click that bell to where you get all my notifications and you get all my new videos. But anyway, guys, I'm the More Medic One, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.